Hi! In this video, we will show you how to use the Web Scraper's Pagination Selector. The most common use cases for the selector are paginating through page numbers, clicking a Next button, or clicking a Load More button, as seen here. For demonstration purposes, we will show you the page number pagination, although all three use cases are covered in other video tutorials and within the How To video section of our website. When scraping a page, first, we need to determine whether it contains pagination that needs to be iterated through to collect the listed items across all pages. Here, at the bottom of the page, you can see that there is pagination available, meaning that we will need to create the pagination selector to collect all of the available items. To do so, we will create a pagination selector first and select all page numbers. Once we have selected all of the pages, we can additionally specify a pagination type from the drop-down menu by clicking on it. Here you can see that there are multiple pagination type options available to give you additional flexibility if necessary. The link, scripted link, attribute link, and the text link types will attempt to extract links from the selected elements, while the rest will attempt to click the elements to either extract a link or to load more data. The latter ones should be used when the page URL isn't changing. In most cases, leaving this as auto will suffice, as the selector will automatically detect and perform the correct pagination type. Once we are done with configuring the selector, click on the Save Selector button. After the pagination selector has been created, we will navigate into the pagination selector to add data selectors for extracting the product information from all pages. By looking at the breadcrumbs, we can see which selector is the parent selector at the current position. The pagination selector is always recursive to scrape all pagination pages. Now, we will create an element selector because we are looking to collect multiple data points from each item. Make sure the Multiple option is selected before saving the selector. From there, we can navigate into the Element Card selector and create additional selectors to extract more information, such as product name, product image, and product link. To extract additional product information from within the product page, you would need to navigate into the product page and add child selectors to this link selector. Here, we will add a review count selector to extract the number of reviews for the item. I'll now run the scraper. As you can see, it is going through pagination pages. Here, you can see the scraped information being returned. And that's it. Thank you for watching the video.